Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode 24. They're being overrun. So let's go. Hopefully, no, this time it's not a swarm of ultra tough, uh, high damage crabs. Because that was actually really hard to deal with. <clears throat> Anything that you can't just one shot is hard to deal with. Although some of the giant enemies are relatively easy to deal with just because they're big and they just soak up shots. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. God, Anu bases are getting weird, aren't they? Alright, threat assessment. Crab. With the low damage machine gun. Siren, that's always bad news. Fireworm launcher. And a Triton. Plenty that I would like to capture here. Uh, capturing a Siren is actually a special mission objective. I'm ready. I wonder if I can make that happen. Ready for action. What's our move? Comes online. Well, I got two boys. This piping garbage is in the way. First things first, let's make a hole, shall we? Oh, let's try our new boom thing. Yes, it does work on grenade launchers. Here goes. Sweet, so I get to fire twice. Taking action. Boom. Ah, oh, there's another one over there. No rest for the wicked. Kill his ass. Standing by. Here. Man, they really did position me in the most awkward place possible. Oh, another one. It's what we call a target rich environment. I'm ready. 
ready. All right, he's dead. 16 HP, 20 bleed. <clears throat> that boy is dead. And that's a fireworm launcher. And that's a fireworm launcher. So neither of them are going to do anything special. Ready for action. Crunch time. Let's go. Standing by. Comes online. One of the most dangerous things you can ever do. Try and capture one of the psychic aliens. And that is what I am shortly about to attempt. But first, crunch time. Die inexpensively. I love it. Chunk chunk. Oh look, and we gain just enough will points for another dash. Hello, my friend. Bzz. Bzz. But that hurt. Oh, I don't quite <clears throat> don't quite have the movement. To finish the job. So I think the right move here is to recover. This will restore my will points and make me difficult to uh, to mind control, which is I'm sure is what the siren will attempt on the next turn. Uh, have you got a shot? Huh, I actually have a shot. I did not realize I had a shot, but I do. And this might be enough. Ha, huh, how fortunate is this? Any, anything else out there. <clears throat> and oh, Captain Fireworm Launcher here is going to lurch, lurch fireworms in my general direction. 
or not or not oh there's an enemy there probably a crab Well, should we find out what it is? I'm on the move. Where are they coming from? It is crap. Break a leg. Ooh. He did me some counter damage there. No, he didn't. He couldn't penetrate my armor. What's the plan? He didn't even scratch him. All right. So He's dead next turn. He is also dead next turn. I'm ready. They don't handle being, uh. <clears throat> they don't handle being grenaded very well. Make some captures. Neil. Sit down. Right there. On the double. Let's do this. Might as well. Free med kit. Oh well, it's materials. Does he have the stompy move? No. He's target practice. Heading out. Ah, sticky keys. Okay, whatever. And I don't mean key sticky keys as in my keys are sticky. I'm standing by. I tell you, man, this game has got some quality of life issues. It really does. <laughs> Lovely, delicious, fear. Oh, there's a box over there as well. I'm going to grab that next turn. Grenadier. Not really necessary for you to do anything at this time. Making haste. Run away! Oh, there go the worms. Why? Why all the way over there? Bit odd. On my way. Gonna take a lot to paralyze this thing. Running. 
Although if we hurt it, the more we hurt it, the easier it will become to paralyze it. Can actually see its head. There we go. Ready for action. God, these boys really need a speed upgrade. Fifty three out of seventy four. And the siren is also paralyzed. And right over here somewhere are some fireworms. No time to waste. Just open the box just to uh just to gain the will points for doing it. Repositioning. Now the question is, do I want to put some hurt in this boy? Willpower, minus 20. I don't know what affects how easy it is to paralyze somebody. Maybe willpower is the, re is the answer. That wasn't that wasn't very good. Put on my boom blast and say, listen to this. They're like over here somewhere, aren't they? Let's just have a guess, shall we? Why not? I have no idea where those fireworms are, but I can have a guess. Okay, that grenade just blew up in midair. Ha! He could not do anything or go anywhere. Excellent. Oh yeah, look, disabling the torso has dropped his uh, his resistance. Sweet. Welcome to not going anywhere, population you. Let's go. Somewhere there's a set of worms. There's one. There's always time for R&R. &R. Um, hmm. Yeah, I got the willpower for this. can't actually walk over these pipes. They are blocking. That means this situation will have to be approached with great care.
Come on, team. Here. Ha, huh, man. It's a very interesting, it's it's very different from XCOM. I think this is much harder than XCOM. In terms of things to think about in the battle anyway. XCOM is just percentage chances to hit and that's it. I'm going to take this opportunity just a moment to recover all of my dudes because the AI doesn't seem to be moving. Boom blast and said, Listen to this. Fire at will. Did he get one? I don't know, it doesn't indicate a dead enemy. Moving to position. Hmm. I think, well, I'm just thinking that there's like three worms there potentially, and I don't want to. After doing so well. The last thing I want is a casualty. What's our plan? And even though I've only lost one guy in like the whole campaign, there have been loads of situations where I felt like I could have lost somebody. I think you guys are actually surprisingly durable because of the way the armor system works. But still. I guess sometimes you're just lucky that the AI doesn't use the uh, grenades and launcher arms more than it does because they really brutalize your limbs okay where is it did I kill it If I killed it, then where's the enemy? Am I not allowed to capture in a haven defense? Is that the issue? Gotta keep on pushing. I've had missions that said kill all enemies before, and it was perfectly fine Cover. to capture. Oh, there it is. Acid? Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter because the map is over. Lucky me. It didn't matter. In the most magical and gamey of things, because the match is over, the acid disappears. Two hundred and fifty acid. <clears throat> we received a virus rifle for our efforts. Oh, it's a lair. Another one. Research complete. Ah. 
<clears throat> created by some sort of cloning process. Research complete. Research complete. Have you ever thought about the ethics of our relationship with the Athrons? We all, all say right. we're fighting to save humanity, but aren't they human, at least in part? They can speak, they can think. If there was a way to save them, we would, but there isn't. So would I. After all, in a way, they are part of us. Our friends, our... Ugh, another layer. I cannot be bothered to deal with that right now. I just want to heal up. And then go up here, get, get me some sweet technology. I'll do it after, <clears throat> if only to um, improve my diplomatic relationship. My other aircraft is around somewhere. Yeah, it's on its way back. Mm, why aren't you healing? Living quarters is not on. Neither is one of my food productions for some reason. Which is weird. I don't know how they got turned off. I've only just noticed that some of this stuff is off. That's why it said that I couldn't support any more aircraft. Okay, well that was silly. Twenty-eight out of thirty. I don't remember turning anything off. Research complete. That's so weird. So weird. I don't remember. The disciples of Anu turning any of the stuff off. Where others saw devastation, they saw hope. Where others saw the end of the world, they saw a new beginning. Their leader called herself the Exalted, and she claimed to believe in humanity. She preached that the human soul was perfect, that the root of our problems was our insufficient evolution. The Pandora virus was a threat but it was also an opportunity to change ourselves, to become better humans, to mutate. We oh, knew that we're gonna need the flamer. needed to adapt. There was no other way to survive. The disciples offered a solution, but what was their end game? There was something beyond their hierarchies and their rituals. The exalted had a secret. Get the flamer, the heavy flamer. Right. Everything's on. How much energy does a mist repeller use? Because I'm at 28 of 30 in this base. Two. Alright, it's perfect. It fits. Without having to disable anything. Alright. Level 4 
Now it's like a real team. Get ready to gear them up. And send them out into the cruel world. Nothing. <laughs> totally stupid set of uh, of equipment here, but it's better than nothing. I think the enemy is becoming such a threat that nothing but heavy armor should be produced from now on. <clears throat> and I'll have to use uh, stat points to boost the speed and willpower of my troops to get them around the battlefield faster. Right. So I could go for the lair. It would mean materials and reputation. But this, uh, uh, you know, my reputation will not climb until I've done that mission. Same for these. But I can't, can't get to those ones for a long time. Alright, I'm going to have to... Okay, you go for this objective. And while you're doing that, Team 2 is now ready to start exploring, but I need to... I need to level them up. Not this guy. That's the guy that went on a magical journey. Secondary class, that would get me dash. Viral damage destroys willpower for enemies on their turn. Could be powerful. Especially with a shotgun which would which would blast the enemy with eight pellets. Still, I kind of need dash. It's funny how it all comes down to dash. Of course I want field medic too. Let's just worry about speeding this character up first. <clears throat> we can multi-class for dash later. There's no point if you haven't got the willpower to use it. Uh, okay. 20% bonus accuracy minus 10% damage, 30% bonus damage minus 20% accuracy. Overall, you just end up with a 20% damage bonus. Sounds good to me. Um, 
You know the grenade launcher, you don't really need to dash. Because it's got huge range. <clears throat> if we go sniper, we could... Um, we could get quick shot. And use that to reduce the cost of the grenade launcher per shot. And boom blast would stack too. So we could get the cost of firing a grenade down to one point. And I like the idea of that. So quick aim will allow us to fire twice. And then once we get boom blast we'll be able to fire even more. Up to four times a turn. If we're desperate. Master Marksman as well means we can we can stand back and lob these grenades with high accuracy. Yeah, and weak spot would also allow us to uh, just, just totally ravage the armor of the enemy. I think this might be a good combo. Might as well have that. Got to train these boys up. Dash. Far sighted sounds good to me. It's not a bad move. You know, these three alone is like. Just. Uh, this is just an incredibly powerful combination of skills without any support whatsoever. And you could just literally will power up here. And that would be good. Two strength and bonus carry weight. Well, I think the guy's got what he needs. Yeah, I really feel like, actually, with assaults, perhaps just a high stats and these three abilities is all you really need. Then you can run around with 300 hit points, sprint across the map like crazy, and just blast people. I know rapid clearance could be really synergetic and fun in a certain situation, but... I don't feel like you have the the stats to actually for that situation to occur that often. Oh, two willpower, yes please. Okay. This guy needs gear. PDW and handgun proficiency with 20% damage dealt and 10% and plus 10 hearing range. Interesting. Certainly, handgun proficiency could be useful. Plus 2 speed. I can get speed more cheaply doing this. Because a handgun can always be, uh... Can always be useful. Because it only costs one action point for destroying worms and stuff like that. Although, I don't appear to have any... Spare decent handguns. 
I only have this, which is kind of pointless because it takes two action points to fire. Some stun pistols for capturing as required. We'll just get one stun pistol. But what I really want is this. Turns out I haven't got any spares. Great little handgun. <clears throat> Okay, so not to worry for now, this guy has not got a handgun, but we'll get one. Let's stick a grenade in there. Could probably do with some med kits, actually. Might as well, while well, he's got nothing else to carry. Is that it? Okay. Research complete. Pandorian goo. Alright, team number two is now ready to explore for me, if nothing else. Team one is going to go here and uh, exchange food for resources, because I am drowning in food right now. Absolutely drowning in food. And uh, then do this mission. Then probably come back and then do this. Complete research. Viv Siren vivisection. Well, we actually have that now. Be nice if you can adopt a defense towards that. Let's get that done as well. Alright, everything's coming along nicely, it would seem. The world is... still mostly not plagued. And I actually have plague-repelling... Uh, buildings building. So they'll be done soon. So we're in a really good position here. I'm not worried about my A-team, I think they can handle pretty much everything that's thrown at them, more or less. It's gotten a bit hairy sometimes, but we're getting there. <clears throat> Honestly, if a couple of them died, I wouldn't actually be hugely bothered, because I can train up new guys at my base, and they might get better abilities. Some, some of the abilities are better than others. Um, I think there's much to be said for not multi-classing an assault but actually just pouring all the points into stats so you just have a really fast dasher who can just dash behind people and just blow them away. Maybe add rapid clearance after. <clears throat> of course, crabs with, with massive machine guns are, are a new threat. So... But anyway, that's it for now. We're going to have to start getting multitasky here, which is where I really sort of start to hate these kind of games where it's like firefighting with two teams. In the meantime we just gotta keep producing equipment for Team B who still doesn't really have a full set of gear. And go from there. And that's it for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.